I wish to congratulate this wonderful team of leaders. I express a heartfelt thanks on behalf of the entire management to those members who have handed over now. It must be remembered that Sunbeam was taken to national levels, state levels, and various clubs and associations were carried away by the charm and the scintillating success that was earned by Team Sunbeam. I'm so happy about it. In that way, the ethos and eminence of Sunbeam owes a lot to these leaders of yester years. And it also inspires, it should go on and on in all the coming years in the pursuit of excellence as one of the best schools in India. It has already been categorically established by the leading press and the observant bodies of quality determination by both the government of India and non-government agencies that Sunbeam, it is marked as one of the best schools in the country with regard to academics and extra and co-curricular activities. Purnashyama Sunda has brought a new address to Sunbeam today in the educational arena of the country. The toughest examination of the country and also considered as one of the most toughest exams of the world, the IIT JEE, bringing in the 2213th rank out of the 10,75,000 contestants to this corner of the world is amazing. This batch of this year We'll get much more number of people getting into IIT. We can say Sunbeam has abundant resource of knowledge. It has already reached the eclions of excellence. Every one of the volunteers of Sunbeam have empathy. We have compassion. We entertain camaraderie to people with different ideas, different philosophies, people who don't agree with us. We are loyal to our parents. We would not let the honor of our parents down. The Sunbeam Society is brimming with optimism that we will enter into the realm of lifelong learning. What is lifelong learning? You learn something. Science is so progressive. Technology is so fast that after a few years, whatever you learn becomes obsolete. Outfashioned. There is new technology, there is new invention, there is new algorithm coming into the world. Then you begin to unlearn. You have to get into the realm where you have to start relearning. Learn, unlearn, relearn, and so it is a perpetual process of learning. Anybody who decides not to learn, to stop learning, will start rusting. It applies to all the teachers. We can teach only if we can learn well. You all know that. To every one of the leaders who is sitting here, my piece of affectionate advice would be to be proactive. When you become a leader, you would tend to become heady. Heady means arrogant, proud. If you become proud, you would fall. Because that's the right saying, pride comes before a fall. I request all of you, my dear leaders, of Sunbeam to bear in mind that every one of you should accommodate the others, be a model leader by getting appreciated by others as a good person. That's very important. There is a wonderful scientist called Alvin Toffler who has said that to learn, to unlearn is the biggest learning of all. You must be ready to leave everything for the sake of your team. When there is trouble for your team, when there is danger for your house, every one of you calling yourself as leaders should go to the front and bear the brunt of the bullets coming towards you. That's a good leader. When there is fame, the leader should stand at the back, unnoticed, not even known where he is. Allow all the members to share the fame and name. When everybody is sorry, the leader will stand in the front and support 
the cause he will try to give healing touches to the aggrieved minds of the members of the community the best thing that you can do in the world is not to compare you with others somebody is very bright in studies tall and broad magnificent in speaking excellent in sports forget about it remember that every one of you who is sitting here has swam across the theory of creativity succeeded in getting created as a human being competing with billions and billions of atoms you are a successful one and that is why you are a human being sitting here you must know you ought to know that there is something in you which nobody else in the world has got locating that talent within you that one talent within you it could be games it could be entrepreneurship it could be a scientific temper it could be reading ability speaking ability it could be political ability leadership ability organizing ability it could be business acumen so many things countless please try and find out what is it that that you have got much sweeter than others have got and if you can locate that you will be a hero in that it could be even cricket it could be even quiz it could be even dancing it could be even writing it could be even poetry it could be the magnificent art of journalism it could be even teaching it could be even preaching it could be even divinity there is so much none of you should compare yourself with others and feel inferior at any cost i hope and pray that every one of the sunbeam child sitting here all of you my children should be eligible to become chief guests to come and give wonderful message to the people of the sunbeam community i wish you all the very best thank you very much